Hey guys, welcome back for another video. Today we are going to do a chit chat get ready with me like a life update because I think it's necessary. So I'm going to be testing some new products in the interim and you guys are just going to go on the ride with me. So this is going to be a lengthy video. I'll tell you right now. So hope you guys enjoy it. I'll be talking about a little bit about what's going on with me. Um, diva curl what's going on in my kids lives and um, just in general some things but I definitely want to share and give you guys you know this is a way you guys get to know me so if you're new welcome and if you're an OG thanks so much for coming back over and over again and we are going to start off I already have moisturizer on I have a tenant moisturizer on that I've been loving and one of the things that we're going to talk about is some things that I am decluttering I am like minimizing my life and if you guys didn't know I'm on a no buy for an entire year and it started December the 12th so from December the 13th to December 13th um, I'm not purchasing any makeup or skincare I am purchasing hair care which I am going to do a twist out on my hair um, and I'm going to use melanin I've tried the oil and the leave-in conditioner detangler deep conditioner type of product her latest product um this you get a good amount of product whoa um 16 ounces so this is the long lasting definition this is the twist elong elongating style cream and y'all it does contain glycerin but glycerin is like midway i think out of like 24 ingredients it is like number is it number 17 something like that it's like right slap dab in the middle and I see it and so we're, we're gonna see how my hair does with this I know the best results are with glycerin free products but sometimes I want to dabble and see you know is my is my hair normalizing because your porosity can normalize um, and although I'm hopeful for that product I'm kind of thinking not so much on uh, it's going to be a no just because of some issues going on with my hair. I have thought about cutting it off and doing another big chop. Y'all no like no joke and not just for like the products of I mean just starting over but also just like a new style you know I'm in a new era in my life and a lot of times when you're in new like eras in your life you want to change we're not going to talk about products i will list everything down below we're talking about life okay so i'm already jumping in y'all know i did a diva curl video and i'm seeing more and more people come forth about like using diva curl and let me just say i use diva curl enough to affect me i know i mean i do reviews um on my channel but I'm one of those that I go back to my tried and true, which was Diva Curl. So I do feel like I was like, mm. more and more, like how often to like think about how often I used it. I could have been affected. A lot of people are saying they attested it to stress. And I do not think that everybody is lying. Like it's just too many people affected that I have been using Diva Curl that I've seen. You know, this is like curl pattern changing. This is it's not just itchy scalp or any of those things. If you hear, feel those reactions, definitely stop using what you have. I I've I feel like that's the reason why I am adamant about when I try a product, trying things one at a time to really figure out. And I know a lot of people want me to come and just say that I love a product, um, which I did love. Um, diva curl but you know as consumers we don't think about you know since 2017 is it 2017 or 15 but anyway there's been you know two different the company has been bought out now I to be honest I did not pay attention as an ambassador I remember it happening like one change since I've been an ambassador of you know diva curl of you know having a new president and everything because the PR person 
was no longer the same one that I had. And I was like, so what's going on? And then I think I want to say we were sent a message. I'll, don't quote me on that, but I want to say, I mean, I remember something being sent to, to me. And I remember the management changing. But this is the thing. I'm kind of skeptical now that they keep sending us as the diva community these generic emails and so the first thing i feel like that should have happened was you reach out to your ambassadors like okay so i'm an ambassador i don't know if you guys know that reach out to your ambassadors and say this is what's happening this is if something doesn't alarm you this is what's happening and um you can choose or not choose to continue using the product but i feel like coming up front with that is the way to go at this point it's almost like this almost makes you feel like let me just DIY everything okay let me DIY a shampoo let me DIY because I was using y'all no poo was my jam no poo decadence and so I just don't know and I feel like I'm I'm to the point where because I don't know, I'm not going to use it because if it is and it damages my hair further. And, you know, there's some people that are even talking about chronic headaches. And I'm like, oh, my goodness, that sounds like a relaxer. You know what I mean? And yes, I have had a relaxer in the past. Um, and we have to remember that just because it's on the top of our head does not mean that is not going into our bodies. It's closer to our brain, you know, hair care products. So I know hindsight is twenty twenty, but we as African Americans and those that actually use relaxers for their hair did not think of those things when it was happening. So unfortunately, you know, we learn as a result of like fatalities and different things, but this is like on another level it's it's, it's crazy that's what i think about all of this debacle this whole debacle just hold off see what you know what i'm gonna do I wonder if there are any ambassadors that are still like, hey, I'm down for D Diva. And there probably are. I just don't know, like, in terms of, like, my skin, even if I want to move forward. And, you know, when it comes to your, your skin, when I say your skin, my scalp, um, I just don't know what I want to do. I do know that I'm going to stop using that product until we figure out what's going on. And I take it that they're probably not saying anything because they're in the middle of a lawsuit. So what do you say to your consumers while you're in a lawsuit? Hey, I hope you don't leave, but I can't say I can or cannot say that this is harm, not harmful. I mean the 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 email that they sent us or the link to like a message is saying you know they haven't you know that it doesn't contain harmful well whatever it's doing people are getting kind of like the same reaction of hair loss and itchy scalp and you know the these type of things so we can't say that it's not you know and i just I don't know I I just I know personally I just can't take the risk of it of it being true okay not to say that these people are being dishonest because I do not believe this many people coming forth especially the ones that are exclusively using diva curl I mean so many different variables like are you using the diva curl with something else are you taking birth control pills with I mean it's so many different variables, especially with like body chemistry and, you know, but to be in a class action lawsuit, 
um, I just I want to hold off that's just how I feel about it I did want to talk about something that I really haven't touched on on my channel and that is um, how my son is doing Joseph I don't know if you guys know Joseph was born a twin the twin did not survive but they did go in and I had basically three surgeries in like two days and I do believe remember that movie not a movie the game operation I do believe that if you tamper with something you might you know I don't know where his what, what happened you know exactly but anyway uh, Joseph has a speech delay and I have touched on that on my channel before he has a speech delay and um, so we have to have him go to speech therapy and y'all it's it's a battle right now with the school district that we're dealing with and so um, I don't want to touch too much on that because we're still in the midst of everything but I'm just gonna say this is fight for your kids especially that have special needs um, because he has a speech delay and it's hard for him to communicate as normal as he would you know he's gotten a lot lot better but he still needs a lot of help with formulating words and you know being able to understand him clearly fight for your kids you guys because I'm gonna tell you nobody's gonna fight for your kids like you do okay I mean I'm sure all of you guys probably know this but especially when they have special needs make sure that the school that they're going to that the environment that the teacher that the classroom that they are in is conducive for them now they might need assistance and everything and if you guys want me to touch more up on special needs because i've learned so much that people don't talk about in that environment because it's so you know talking about your kids is already sensitive but um nobody will fight for your kids like you do and sometimes these rules and laws are set up just for kids that don't have these type of issues if your child has AD, ADHD if they um you know sometimes it's hard for them to sit down you know <clears throat> they might be hyper those different type type of things like read up on it you know you might need to change the diet you might need to you know really make sure that they have a, a teacher that is I'm sorry I have these lines you, you guys I think it should go away but make sure that they are getting like the ample like the help that they need you know what I mean and so it's just been a battle and I'm telling you guys nobody's gonna take care of your kids like you do and fight for your kids if they're not in the right environment you know um, a lot of kids um, with those with the issues uh, have special needs issues they get bullied you know sometimes just go and observe see how your child is being treated by the teacher see how the children are teach are treating them see how other parents react with their children with yours and you know i try to not to be on the defensive uh because but that's really hard to be when you see your child being mistreated or treated fairly unfairly and so i'm just seeing a lot that you just got to be kind man and let me tell you this too just because joseph can't communicate the way that he does it doesn't mean that he doesn't know what's going on so just don't talk any kind of way in front of your kids and not expect not think that or anybody with special needs or someone anyone that's you know older that may have a disability don't think that they're not aware of what's happening a lot of these children a lot of these um a lot of people with disabilities know that they have disabilities and so 
they know how to play on the disability as in to like get what they want from you and they also realize when something it when they're they're being mistreated or misrepresented so um those are just things to like remember just be kind be who you are um we we're you know we alter a couple of things for joseph and just make sure also that any other children that you have you're giving them like the same amount of attention because sometimes children with special needs parents with special needs and um, friends family that you have with a disability does require more work but don't discount the other people and i think that doesn't happen on purpose but i've noticed that even with elijah we have to you know me and my husband we were like you know what we need to schedule more one-on-one -on -one time with elijah because we have that one on time one on time one on one time with we have that one on one time with joseph and that's kind of like in the program that we have him in that's helping his not only his speech but his behaviors and you know him feeling safe and secure in terms of security because that has a lot to do with like some of the behaviors and everything but anyway just make sure you're giving like just make sure you're giving your children like even amounts of t attention and time because the truth of the matter is children with special needs do take up a lot of energy and time and so y'all gonna see me wear this a lot less okay i need to get like several shirts i love these type of shirts do you guys love this i got this from target and i thought that was really cool to have blessed in target don't see that often but anyway i love that i got a graphic shirt like that okay so let's use some of these eyeshadows i am doing a pan those eyeshadows and i need to switch these out but i want to use this first i'm going to use a couple of palettes i'm going to use this one and i'm going to use this one i am trying out some winky Lux products that i am enjoying at the moment this is such a beautiful palette this is the kitten cashmere cashmere kitten palette that is so pretty and honestly i have some of like i feel like that these colors complement each other and i'm wearing some gray so we're going to dip in and start okay so that's another part of my life hair my kids um husband is doing good we are i would say schedule a date night now i'm getting into my courageous conversations okay because i want to come up with some topics so definitely put some topics down below the last video that i did was christian dating some tips and I feel like I am equipped, number one, because I am a minister. But also, I dated. And I kind of did the group dating thing and then went on a one-on-one. -on -one and then from there, courted my husband. And then from courtship, marriage. And if you have any questions, I definitely want to do a Q&A. Um, I'm going to do a Q&A. And I also want to talk about certain things like in Christian dating things even like things you do within a Christian marriage how to keep the marriage spicy those type of things I think are great and I do definitely want to talk about some heavy topics because this personally came up i went on a trip with my church up to sacramento and we were just talking about like the married couples in the in the um vehicle that I was in we got to talk and my husband was driving and we were just talking about different things in our marriage that you know all of us had been married i think we were the youngest ones but 20 25 no, there was someone, one, I think maybe like 13 to 14 years married. 
and we go on in June it'll be 18 years that's crazy amazing time good times that's crazy. we were talking about like secrets like secrets that married people keep from one another Ooh, we'll talk about that uh, I'm not feeling this these lines on my face hold on let me see if I can fix this okay better right okay I had to like totally left up the window um, but basically talking about the secrets that we keep from one another that's a whole nother courageous conversation. So. I'm kind of, if you notice, like, you haven't been seeing as many beauty videos. And that is, there's four reasons because most of you guys love my hair care videos. So every now and then I will come with like a beauty review of something that really intrigues me. If it costs a lot of money but it's worth it or if it costs a lot of money, I'm like, girl, don't get it. I mean, those type of like, I was going to say warning videos. I'm one of those like, I want to be that girlfriend that tells you, girl... Watch yourself. Watch yourself with this one, okay? But, um, yeah. I haven't done my, <laughs> my brows yet, y'all. They're bronzer but not blush. Oh, I got this in the way. Well, I did do my eyebrows. This looks like I did. Okay. So. You know how like, you have to do your eyes and it's like, oh, I need a concentrate. I am trying to see, like, am I going to keep certain things? And I'm noticing organically that there are a lot of makeup products that I don't wear. Like, uh, primers, I don't need as many as I have. Um, I've, oh, I've decluttered a lot. Let me show you guys what I've decluttered. I decluttered and put everything in this Fab Fit Fun box. I'm probably going to add some of these to my Poshmark because some of these are like brand stinking new. And, oh, some of the stuff I need to take out. Some of the stuff I'm going to add to my kit. But this is all the stuff that I am decluttered already. Brand new palette. Okay. Um, Marc Jacobs, Laura Mercier palettes. I have a Carly Bible palette. I don't think I touched any of these. I am getting rid of some foundation. Now, I do have this. This is a brand new one. Um, I'll probably give this to a family member. 
I have some eyeshadows that I've gotten for free. I'm just, I don't use these things, y'all. And I'm going to purge some more. Um, let's see. I think that I do like that foundation. It looks like it's a, it's a good match, you know. I've noticed like within my hairline that's the reason why I'm actually getting rid of this one is because this W5.5 is way too well now it's too light it used to be a good shade for me and so now it's not let me see if I can get a swatch see how light that is can I get that swatch yeah So it looks pasty and you can see it in the hairline so that's that i am thinking about getting my hair cut let me know what you guys think and for several different reasons for starting over but i actually want to get a style so if you guys know some stylists in the greater los angeles area because my stylist actually is in new york indefinitely and so um i can't go to kiana anymore Woo -hoo. Woo -hoo. So, yeah, that's that. I am going to declutter this Lorac Pro blush. It's so pretty on, but I have so many like it. That's got to go. But I'm going to keep my Charlotte Tilbury because it's a lot like it too. I know, I got a monitor over here. I know what it looks like, y'all. Everybody said it, right? So we just gonna keep it pushing. I'm gonna use the same one that I used for my bronzer. But it gives like a nice flush of like a neutral print pink. It's one of those pinks that um it goes with anything. I know that this looks like it doesn't deposit, but as you can tell, it does. And then we still have I think I'll do another video of doing converting this twist out into I mean this wash and go into a twist out that's pretty much like life updates people are asking you know what people always ask if I'm gonna have a girl you know y'all I'm good with the ones I got I have my daughter I have my daughter before our sons and sometimes I wish I could have a daughter like but this is the thing when you have high-risk pregnancies and I'm already I'm 40 I'll be 41 this year when you have high-risk pregnancies I feel like you know I'm just gonna be blessed with the ones that I have the more the more I get pregnant the more I put my my body at risk and my life at risk as well as the child's and um I was kind of, you know, how can I say this? The last children that I had, the last child that I had, or children that I had, um, my life was at risk. And if it's something, I just, I just need to be blessed with what I have. I feel like sometimes we get in trouble when we want more. Sometimes I wish I had a girl, but you know what I do? I have some friends with some daughters. I love on them. I appreciate God for what they have and what I have. Not being jealous or anything. I just love on them and I'm like, okay. I kind of like get my, you know, satisfaction of, of like doing their hair and still helping my friend and you know that kind of thing i have nieces like i can love on my nieces they are like my daughters although i mean let's be real it's not the same there's some people that raise their nieces as their daughters you know um i don't have that experience but i try to love on my nieces and just you know just be grateful i got two i have two beautiful 
energetic suns okay let me keep up with them and and just make sure that they're good I think sometimes we get so caught up in what we want that we don't appreciate what we have in front of us. And so that's where I am with that. Do I wish I could have more children? Absolutely. I mean, to be honest with you, if if all of my children had survived, I would be a mother of five children right now. But God only allowed two to come into, well, three to come into this world breathing. And I currently have two with me. So I'm going to thank God for what I already have. And we also, I feel like, miss out on the blessing of what's in front of us. And sometimes we can be so depressed about what we don't have that we neglect what we do have in front of us. And so um, that's a whole nother story that I can share later because that one's a deep one. But let's like be grateful for what we have and stop asking people if they're gonna have how many children you know somebody gets married they've been married for a year or two years don't just start asking them when they gonna have kids i feel like that that is so personal like if you know them know them like that then maybe they are okay with it but just like to walk up to somebody or you see somebody at church and you're like when are you gonna start having kids you don't know if that woman has issues. You don't know um, if the husband may have issues because they can be sterile. Women aren't the can be women can be barren, but men can be also barren in terms of like they we call it sterile. But you know those are personal questions. You don't know if you hit a nerve, and just because those things may have happened to you doesn't mean it's the same case for somebody else. Stop asking those questions. I'm saying that in a nice way, but it can be, it can come across rude and offensive and they can, it can make the other person uncomfortable. They may have just, you know what? I had someone ask me that not knowing that I had just had a miscarriage. And so just, you know, that was way too sensitive. I think I started crying in front of the person. And then from then, that point on, I was avoiding them every time I saw them. like, and I know that they knew that I was trying to avoid them. But that's what was happening. Every time I was like, oh, Lord. Here comes, like, Mother Folger. And I use the name because there's no Mother Folger in my church. <laughs> Currently. Because if you let people run they li your life, they will. I'm just saying. But those type of questions can make people feel uncomfortable. Even if, hey, so, you know, when you going to have kids? And then somebody that has kids, girl, you got a lot of kids. Are you going to slow down? That's why people need to, like, go with what God is telling you to do. Stop worrying about these people. Because if you let people run their li your life, they will. I'm just saying. And I'm so over letting people run my life. But please, stop asking people those questions. And if someone asks you that question, don't be afraid to say, you know what, that's personal. I had to tell somebody, somebody kept asking me. And I was like, can you keep a secret? And I was like, yes. I was like, I can too. Yes, they thought I was going to tell. The whole point of me saying that phrase was, I can keep a secret, so I'm not going to tell you because it's a secret. If I told you, it's not a secret anymore. Okay. For those of you that didn't get that, but I, I feel like most of you did. Yay. Okay, let's take this down. Let you guys see my hair. This is a three-day wash and go that your girl about to turn into a... What am I about to turn this into? I'm about to turn this into a twist out. I'm not going to put on earrings just yet because your girl needs to do a twist. I mean, do a twist out. I think that this twist out is going to come out really good. Even if melanin does not make the cut, I feel like I might get good one day, two day hair. 
comment down below let me know if you think that this is going to work is it going to be like a miracle and maybe it doesn't have that much glycerin in it but i don't know i don't know y'all know how um glycerin works for me but hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me we talked we touched on a couple of different things comment and let me know what our next update or what we want to ch ch chat about next if you have any comments i want to start the conversation on any of the topics that i started or talked about we talked about children with special needs we talked about diva curl how it's affecting the community and how it's affecting my hair um if in fact it has it um affected my hair because i don't know yet but i have had massive hair loss and itchiness of scalp which everybody right now you know is talking about but um my hair starting over do you think i should do a big chop yes no should i start over should i get a style and if you guys have any ideas because it has to go around the head you know what i mean okay guys i hope you guys enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching i'll see you in the next one bye